right, it is 6.45 on Friday morning. I'm driving into the office right now to go put in a good day's worth of work before jumping on a plane and heading out to Tulsa, Oklahoma for the Next Generation Tour Southern Regional Championship. I'm looking forward to it. Not gonna lie, going to sleep last night was a little bit rough just because I was excited to know that I'm doing something different. You know, I don't normally jump on planes to go play disc golf tournaments, especially as an amateur. Not only just as an amateur, but as an amateur that's not super good. You know, I'm only like a 915 rated player, but I'm looking forward to the experience. I think it's a lot of fun to do stuff like this. Um, in the past, I've gone to Worlds. I've traveled some through road trips, but never really jumped on a plane like this in order to go out to a tournament. So I'm looking forward to the experience, looking forward to the, to the chance to have a good old time in Tulsa, Oklahoma playing disc golf. Friday evening, I'm leaving my office, driving down the freeway, heading to the airport, looking forward to catching a flight to go to Tulsa, Oklahoma. It's Saturday morning. It is game time. Um, luckily, I've been able to find someone to stay with here in Tulsa. One of the guys in the disc golf community was very open and friendly and let me come stay at his house tonight. So I had a place to crash, you know, a place to rest. Got up, took a shower. It's about 6.30 in the morning right now. Um, I'm going to be heading up to the course. Registration check-in is going to take place around 7 to 8.30. Tee off by 9 o'clock. So I'm going to go walk the course a little bit to go check things out and just see what's going on. Looking forward to it, I'm excited, kind of nervous at the same time because it's a different event than just a regular C tier or B tier that I've you know, played in locally. So I'm looking forward to see what this is all about. So as I'm driving along here, all of a sudden the weather is looking differently. If you can see behind me, I don't know if you can see that in this video or not, it's relatively clear, blue skies and looking like a nice day behind me. But as I'm says that the rain should stop by 9 o'clock and at least go to sprinkled or scattered thunderstorms. The wind's currently pushing between 15 to 18 miles an hour according to the weather app and we'll see what happens. I went out there to try and practice a little bit and the rain picked up while I was out there so it's kind of just wet and miserable right now. But no big deal. It will clean up. I start off on hole one on the red course today, and we'll see what happens.
All right, we're in a small backup here on hole nine at the Red Hawk course. Um, currently, I am two over in the front nine because I missed two 10-foot putts. Both of those putts, just the disc soaking wet, slipped out of my hands, and pretty much no excuse except I missed them. Right now, it looks like the rain has cleared up. We're starting to get sunny skies, and hopefully the rain will stay away. We'll be able to start throwing some discs straight, and more importantly, put them in the basket. Butter was not on today. I kept missing everything on the weak side of the change and splashing out. Missed five within 12 feet, and it just really wasn't that good today. So hopefully the second round, I'll be able to kick back into gear, make it work more efficiently, and get my putter moving. Site, ate by myself for a while, thought about it. I'm gonna go warm up some and just do nothing but putting for a while and see if I can't turn some things around in the second round. We'll see. Ricky Bobby. He's from Houston. The only time we ever play with each other is when we're out of state at random tournaments like this. Ricky, how are things going so far? Having a blast, man. The first round was rough in the rain. Ankle was trying to hit me. Was getting a little stronger every day. That was fun to be not to play golf. Life is divine. Ah. All right, day two of the tournament. Not out of it completely. We're playing one more round today on the hard course, but from the short tees. So so far we played Black Hawk, we played Red Hawk. So today we're playing White Hawk, which is on the Black Hawk course, but the shortened version. Still a technical course, very wooded. It still requires good drives and good up shots, which I've done pretty decent at. The thing I'm struggling the most with still is the putting. After the second round yesterday, I was able to shave a few strokes off the first one, so I'm, I'm still in the bubble of making the cut. Uh, so after today's White Hawk round, they're going to drop it down to the top 36 players of the round, and of course I want to be on that top 36, but as of right now I'm not. So looking to make some good drives out of the, out of the woods today, and got to step up my game when it comes to putting. Just finished playing the third round here at Mohawk Park. We played the white course today, which is the black course really with six shorter holes and shorter tee boxes. Um, I shot okay, I shot a 55 today. This was the first round I actually got birdies, so that was good and promising. Unfortunately, I, it was not enough to get me into the cut. So I needed to be in the top 36 players from the event, and I'm in player number 30. Nine. So I missed the cut by about three strokes, and it's not going to happen. It was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed my time here 
at the Next Generation Tour. Uh, it was a blast coming to Tulsa and just staying with some random disc golfers and playing out a lot here. I enjoyed the courses, they were tough. I know I need to work on my putting, so between now and next tournament, I get to learn how to make 10 foot putts. The worst part about it all is I went back and calculated the ones that I missed, and there were 10 within about 12 feet that I missed over these last three rounds, which is pretty close to horrendous. So I need to figure out how to putt. Once I get to putting, it'll allow me to at least play more efficiently and get my scores lower. Thanks for following along this weekend, and it was a lot of fun.